scientists have taken another important step toward creating different types of synthetic life in the laboratory. An international research consortium reports Thursday that it has discovered an efficient method to synthesize a substantial part of the genetic code of yeast. This is a significant step towards our goal. The milestone is the latest development in the intensification of the quest to create living and complex organisms from scratch in the laboratory. This group previously reported that it had completely synthesized one of the 16 yeast chromosomes, which are the molecular structures that carry all the genes of an organism. Now, in a series of seven articles published in the journal Science, the group reports that it has completed five more, and is on track to have a fully synthetic yeast genome completed by the end of the year. The breakthrough is praised by many biologists, geneticists and others as an important breakthrough and even bioethicists and environmentalists who are concerned about possible ethical and environmental implications praise the project for its careful approach. But the growing ability to manipulate the basic elements of life is raising concerns about someday using this technology to create synthetic genomes of other organisms, especially humans. The yeast project is significant because it provides information on how human cells work, Although unicellular yeast are among the complicated group of organisms called eukaryotes. That means that, just like humans, yeast contains organelles, and packs their DNA inside a nucleus. They are a great model for understanding the basic wiring of the upper cells. The project recruited laboratories from around the world to thoroughly gather the yeast chromosomes of the four basic chemical components of DNA, adenine, cytosine, guanine and thymine. We are essentially changing the code, if you will, into a living yeast cell with a sort of 21st century version of the operating system. 